Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create. And we're working on Blossom. We're moving right along. Okay, so I'll get my papers organized really quickly. This, this, and this. Okay, and I can set that aside for now. Here we go. Okay, we're gonna start with a five by eight flap, five by eight flap. It's gonna get installed on the right hand side of the pocket page. Five by eight, score half inch on the five inch side. And we're just going to apply it right to the edge of the pocket page. Okay, and the next thing is very simple pocket is four and a half by four and a half. You're gonna start with a square and then you're gonna score a half inch on three sides. And that pocket is going to get installed on the lower right hand corner, right on top of this flap. And I used skinny tape here and I don't know why. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to add a little bit of glue. I don't know what I was thinking, um, just to the edge to, to adhere the whole thing down. That's not like me, maybe my uh, 3 8 wasn't handy. I don't like using the glue because it mushes out and kind of makes a mess. Okay, lower right hand corner. I did this on the other one. I It must be static in my house. It's making this jump up and grab the paper. It's so irritating. Okay, there we go. I straightened it out. Okay, so now we've got our pocket. Let me get my uh, contrast paper. So we've got our first flap, then we got a pocket, and it's inset from the edge, uh, and it's done that way on purpose. Now we're gonna take what I call an accordion flap, and it is eight by eight, and you're gonna score a half inch and four and a half inches. And this hinge is gonna get applied right next to your pocket. So you're actually gonna use that pocket as a straight line to add this flap. And because I'm having a hard time getting things in straight, <laughs> I think I'm just gonna take off a little bit of the tape and then pull the rest off once I get it um, where I want it. Okay, so we're gonna butt it right up against that pocket, level with the bottom of the page, pressing it into place. Now I'm gonna pull my tape out. Nope. It tore on me, so I gotta reach in here and grab it. Okay, let's make sure it's straight before I pull the tape out. And there we go. Okay, so that's it. So the way it's installed is it's not coming all the way across. It is, it's hard to see, but there's a one inch here it's about a half inch down and that's on purpose because we're going to attach what I call an extended flap here. The extended flap is three and three quarter by seven, three and three quarter by seven, no score lines. We're gonna set that aside because we're gonna get designer paper on here before we add that. Okay, now we've got our accordion flap installed. We've got our pocket installed. I'm gonna open all that up. And then we're going to install a left-hand flap, which is four and a half by eight, four and a half by eight. And it is just gonna go uh, directly to um, the left-hand side of the pocket page. Four and a half by eight, score half inch on the four and a half inch side. I don't think I actually said those words. Okay, there we go, that's installed. It's going to close like so. Okay, now we need um, an insert, and I thought I had one, but I think we need to trim one out. So the insert for the pocket is three and a quarter by seven. Three and a quarter by seven. And that's gonna go right inside this pocket, like so. Is, it, is that right? Three and a quarter by seven. I think I want seven. I might, maybe seven and a half. 
Let me go back and look at. Oh yeah, so the first one I did was three and a quarter by seven and a half. Uh, I'm not sure. I I think I want this to be a little bit longer. So hang tight. I don't have a scrap handy that's the right height. Yeah, so this should be three and a quarter by seven and a half. Three and a quarter by seven and a half. So I'm gonna set that aside and I'll trim out another piece later. But for now, let's go ahead and place our magnets. So I, you can just use three magnets. That's what I decided to do. Um, we're going to place a magnet center here and here. And then we're going to place one um, on the front panel. So that's going to go here. I'm going to put an opposing magnet there. Like so. And then we're going to put one more magnet right here. this closed and you've got a magnet here holding these two closed perfect okay so when I come back I'm gonna have my my piece trimmed out three and a quarter by seven and a half and then I'll have my designer papers lined up so we can actually start decorating this I really like this this is a, a new sort of page design for me I'm always looking for something new I've seen a couple of albums recently where they have this um this idea of when when you pull on it you've kind of got this what kind of seems like a little bit of a pop-up for you so i'm kind of excited about that i think it it doesn't really show right now but once we get all the colored papers on and we go through the mechanism you'll see what i mean um i hope you guys like it it is something new i haven't done this design in any of my other albums and i do like to try to come up with new stuff for you guys um, okay, so the next time I come back, we will um, have our insert and we'll also start decorating it. And then once we've got our designer papers in, we can add um, that extension, the flap extension. Okay, I'll be back soon. Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create and we are working on um, Blossom. And this is page seven. Page seven is a fun, fun page. So we've got a lot of uh, papers ready to go. I'm gonna just disassemble this real quick and I think we'll start from the inside and work out. There we go. Okay. Okay, so, uh, that one's not inked, I think this one is. It is. I'm going to use a contrast sheet so I can see my edge. Nice and crisp. Okay. This is from... Oh, I didn't realize... Oh, yes, that's right. Okay. This is from the 8x8 collection pack. <laughs> and we use the same pattern on page 6. So it kind of unifies the spread when you pull the, the main pattern back in across on the second page of the layout. Okay. Here we go. Beautiful. Okay, now I know I want my stripes right here. And it looks like I need to trim this. So I'm gonna double check that real quick. And this is the left hand flap. Nope, it actually fits on this panel, so I think I get my contrast in here. Yeah, that's gonna work. Okay. 
Okay. I'm going to double check, but I'm pretty sure the stripe is from the, yeah, this is from the 12 by 12 collection pack. Isn't that lovely? I, I just think the stripes are a great accent. Okay, so we have this insert that's gonna go in the pocket, and I mentioned it before, but I will tell you again, it is three and a quarter by seven and a half, three and a quarter by seven and a half. And I went back and forth between seven and seven and a half, and I finally figured out it was seven and a half, was the intent. And this is from the Patterns and Solids, which is a 12 by 12 pack. If you're familiar with uh, Graphic 45, you'll know that's the um, the coordinating 12 by 12 pack. Which is one of the things I really like about Graphic 45 is that they, they create that second pack that coordinates so well with the collection. And um, I, I wish other paper brands would do it. We actually um, were fortunate to meet with um, Stamperia right after the first of the year. And um, we actually asked them about possibly coming up with coordinating um, patterns and solid um, collections that would work with their collections. It would be nice if they, they decided to do that. They are doing some things like Graphic 45 where they're you know, releasing additional elements like these journaling cards and chipboard and stuff like that, which um, when I first started paper crafting, nobody did that, just Graphic 45. So it was kind of their signature, but now a lot of the premium brands are starting to bring in those um, decorative elements, which is great. Um, I like fussy cutting and I think it looks awesome, but if you're making a lot of albums, like I do, because you know they're promotional, uh, that fussy cutting can really, really slow you down and um, having those decorative elements gives you that, you know, lots of options when you're, when you're designing your album. So I think it's kind of neat. It'd be nice if we saw that in some other paper collections. We'll see. One of the things I find when I'm working with the Stamperia stuff is that um, because a lot of their patterns are collage-like in nature, they're a little more difficult to layer. And I think having, at least uh, for an album, for a mini album, having that coordinating pattern, you know, of stripes or something subtle, you know, like this, if you look very closely, there's a pattern here. So it would need to be something very subtle like this. I think it would go a long way uh, to improving designability. Okay, now I keep going back and forth about whether or not I was going to do something special on the corners. And quite frankly, I can't locate my corner choppers at the moment. And so um, I can't hold off any longer. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay this in as is. Um, and maybe for my next album, I can do a little bit more decorative um, elements on the corners. 
it's something I always want to do, but it, it is that, that extra step adds, you know, time. Uh, so those are easy changes to make if you are replicating the album yourself as well. So it's going to go here. I might have enough to cover the back. We'll see later, but at the moment, that's how it's going to go in. That's it for now. Uh, when I come back, we'll have, um, we'll have our B sides lined up. So we still have a lot to cover. Um, so I'll get those papers organized so it goes as smoothly as this. And when we get back, we'll start decorating the inside of page seven. Thank you. Hey everyone, it's Daphne and we are wrapping up page seven. So I took some time and finished trimming out and coordinating my papers for the B-sides. So let's get started. So the inside of this top flap um, is going to match. It's gonna be from the same co collection. Is that right? Yes, it is. Wow, for some reason it looked really different, but it's, it's, um, it's from the eight by eight collection pack. So on page two, which is the same design, on the extended flap, I, I added um, a photo mat on the back of the extended flap. And I trimmed it out to fit a piece of scrap that I had. I had originally planned it uh, for five by seven, but I couldn't find a large enough uh, piece to cover it and still coordinate. So I trimmed it down <clears throat> and I talked about that when I was doing it. In this case, I actually had enough of a coordinating paper to do a five by seven. So you'll see um, this is gonna look a little bit different than page two. And it's just because of that extended flap. Okay, so now we have the A, B, and A side of this. So we're ready to open it up and we're going to work on the centerpiece. Sorry, I thought I had inked all this, but I missed the centerpiece. This is from the 8x8 collection pack. <clears throat> and it's going to go right here. There we go. Now I've trimmed out uh, these other bits and I'm gonna have to shuffle them just a little bit. I apologize in advance, but they're all slightly different sizes. So I have to lay them out real quick to make sure that this is the one that goes here. They go on the right panels. There we go. There we go. Now, what I decided to do, I was originally gonna do this and then I flipped it over and said, wow, I really like that. <laughs> like this better. So this is from the 12 by 12 collection pack. And this is from the eight by eight. It just really lightens it up. I think it's very pretty. I, I also think it'll be okay to put photos on top of this. Especially since you've got this nice big solid piece here. It should be pretty easy to work with. Okay, now we're going to add this. I think I, yep, I got this inked. So some I did, some I didn't. I think I mentioned it, but I'll say it again. We're on, oh, you know what? I think this is in upside down. I think I put it in upside down. There's the stems. I'm gonna try to get it up and save it. I was just having trouble. You know what, I can't save it. You guys learn from my lesson. Pay attention to your orientation. It's gonna tear and I don't have enough of it to go replace it. So we're gonna live with it. <laughs> but I just noticed this particular stem is upside down. I hate it when that happens. <laughs> I think I wasn't really paying attention because the flip side 
You can really put it in either way. And this actually is, this is the right way, but I don't have an, a piece of paper that big, so I am turning it sideways. And I can live with sideways, upside down is the one that I really struggle with. And of course you have to keep in mind, we're gonna put some photos here, so much of this pattern is gonna be broken up anyway. But, you know, not ideal. Let me see if I can find something, yeah. Oh, that's too big. So you could easily, you know, picture a couple of photographs here and here, maybe one with some journaling underneath. So this is gonna be broken up anyway, so I'm not gonna stress about that. So that is that part. Okay, so now we're ready to decorate this. And that is going to be this sliver and this piece. And I thought I could cut a continuous strip, but I can't seem to get this to match um, what I had done. So I don't know, that's really strange. Because it doesn't match anything on this side either. Yes, it does, there it is, that matches. So this actually belonged over here. I got them, I got them mixed, and, that's, and if it was right side up, that's how it would work. So I wasn't paying attention, so you can see how the pattern was continuous. I had intended for that to be here, but no big deal. Most of this is gonna be covered by a photo mat anyway. Well, not, a good part of it's gonna be covered. You'll see in just a second. Sorry, that was just complete stream of consciousness, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> thinking out loud. Okay, we're gonna use this here. Okay, so now we have our extended flap, and this is three and three quarter by seven, which we went over when we were originally constructing it. I'm gonna add this. And then we're gonna attach it. to this flange here. So it's gonna install just like so. Now last time I was looking at it like this and thought I needed to tuck it in, but we don't because we're actually gonna close this flap first. So you still get that nice um, matching pattern or frame around this cover. So we don't need to worry about that. We just need to make sure we clear the spine. The hinge, not spine. Okay, I'm just gonna eyeball this, but I want it centered. I'm gonna center it on this and then center it up and down. Okay, now here's the five by seven that I've trimmed out to go on the back side. So it's gonna fit right here. Now on page two, you'll note that I made this smaller. I can't remember what the measurement is off the top of my head, but I think I needed to shave an inch or so off because the paper that I wanted to work with wasn't wide enough to fit, fit the panel. But in this case, I had a coordinating piece that was wide enough to do five by seven. And I like that idea because that's a very standard uh, large photo size, five by seven. And even if you do a four by six on here, um, you'll have a very nice mat around it. It looks like I've got a crooked edge here, so I'm gonna straighten it up. 
and it is crooked. Okay, now we're just going to glue this right back to back with this panel, okay? There we go, isn't that nice? I, I'm really pleased with that. I like the idea that the panel, um, the photo mat's a different size, depending on which way you're looking at it. We close this, close that, and we're covered. So, um, I think I wanna put something on top of this, and I have my stickers out. Where did I do with them? What did I do with them? I think I'm gonna put, uh, uh, take a sticker and cardstock back it and then just put like a little pull tab on there. Of course, I have to find my stickers. I clearly need to do some housekeeping because I can't find anything. So I think I'll come back and do that um, after, after I clean up my desk a little bit so I can find things. I can see my chipboard, but I don't know what I did with the, the stickers. They're, they're here somewhere. They'll, they'll turn up. And then the alternative would be to place like a little piece of chipboard or something on top of here. And I might do that. In fact, I like that a lot. So I think I'm gonna do that. Now, I like to try to keep the little pieces that go in here intact, but it looks like I somehow they got away from me. There's one. Um, I like to try to put tape on the back of them so they don't get lost because um, I don't like to have that hole there. An alternative is, here I found one of them, an alternative is to um, put tape on the back of them, um, just a little piece of scotch tape to keep the, the little dots from falling out. This is also a good place for a little bit of rhinestones. I am always a little cautious about using rhinestones because it will scratch the opposing page. I'm not so worried about the designer paper, but if you have a photo on the opposing page, it could damage it. So it's just something to keep in mind. So that looks like right. And these don't look like the right colors, so I may wind up, oh, here. I was gonna say, I may wind up uh, going against the norm and doing something else here. Uh, not perfect, but it's okay. I'm just gonna put a little dab of glue there, let it dry, and then I'm gonna come back and put this down. Ah, that's what I was afraid of. It's gonna stick to me and not to the chipboard. There we go. We'll see. I'm gonna give it a minute and then I'm gonna go ahead and glue the whole thing down. So um, when I meant taping is like uh, going ahead and putting a little piece of tape behind them so you don't lose those little dots. I often do that, but I hadn't, uh, they got away from me in this particular case, so not a big deal. I have inked the edge of this. with that for now that's good I might put a decorative strip here uh, I don't know I'll have to look at that in a little bit but that's it for now so that's page seven we're almost done I'll be back soon